The LCD industry has been built upon the base of amorphous silicon technology, but increased visual performance in terms of high resolution has allowed PSI and oxide backplanes to progress. And in terms of Corning's influence in these technologies, we're designing substrates for responding to the specific new technologies. So we have substrates that are specifically optimized for polysilicon and oxide backplanes and the unique requirements of those, and also substrates that are thinner and durable for the overall trends. And amorphous silicon processes may reach as high as 300 degrees C, whereas oxide processes may reach 350 degrees C or higher, and polysilicon processes may reach up to 700 degrees C. These require various levels of thermal stability and dimensional control for the substrate through those processes. So for us, we want to match our glass composition expertise with our fusion forming expertise to provide the optimized glass for those different backplane applications. The pace at which we go from a concept to a demonstration to full commercialization seems to be increasing in speed. That's quite exciting as a company that's foundation is technology innovation. We can bring our ideas, our passion for glass to find the right opportunity for glass in the new display design and work very rapidly with our partners in the industry to bring that to a realization. There are a variety of uh, trends that are happening in the display industry across many applications. One is thin, so we're seeing thinner form factors from mobile applications through TV. Uh, that includes light and durable types of displays. And we're also seeing increased performance for the visual quality of the display, and specifically for high resolution. We're all enjoying getting more data through our displays. Some other key trends that we see are the interaction of the user with the display. It's not just for viewing. There's interaction in terms of touch and how we uh, get the information. Trends in the industry to thin and light and better visual performance in terms of high resolution align with some of the benefits of the fusion process. For fusion, it's a very flexible process in terms of size and thickness. Also with higher resolution, panel makers are building more and more pixels onto the displays. That requires a very pristine surface, and with the fusion process, the glass is untouched during the forming. There's no post-treatment, including polishing or any mechanical processing of the surface, which allows for a very pristine and electronics-grade surface for high-resolution displays. When we look at the day made of glass, it's amazing to see the variety of ways in which glass can be used in our everyday lives. And in that way, I think it changes our image of glass and the potential that it has, not only for near term, but longer term. So what excites me is the comfort and ease that people have in using displays or devices that have glass and the interaction of the consumer with those devices. Glass enables the visual quality that we've come to expect in our interaction with information and data. It enables us to interact through the touch interface and it provides a design consideration that helps to enable that thin and light form factor. Thank you.